It is a totally new perspective for me on, on how they live their lives. It's really, really special. Killer whales are known to be very, very social animals. We've done decades of work on killer whales looking at the side view, and the, most of that study is based on uh, photo identification. So we find groups of whales and we take pictures from the side, and that's what all, all these are. These are the identification shots of, of some of the southern residents. But you miss out on a lot of things when you look at it that way. You miss out on who's actually socially interacting with each other in these groups. And in killer whales and in most marine animals, that's really hard to look at because they're, most of that happens underwater. We can't usually see what's happening underwater. Um, and that's where the drone comes in. Using a drone, we can fly over the whales and get a much clearer view down into the water. It's a, it's a nice way to get really good behavioral observations with kind of minimal impact on the animals. Killer whales generally seem to kind of have this matrilineal structure, which means you stay in your mom's group generally. What we found is there is a bunch of structure in those interactions that you don't capture when you just look at who's in a group together. The main two things we looked at were age and sex. So the younger individuals are a lot more interactive in these groups. They, they do a lot more social interactions. And uh, females are more kind of social than the males. And we also found that whales like to interact with uh, other whales who kind of are a similar age and the same sex. It's still a pretty, you know, fully connected network within this social group, but they kind of preferentially uh, interact with individuals who are kind of similar to them. So we don't know for certain why these patterns are present. Um, we do know that they're present in a lot of mammals, so including humans. So uh, it, it's, it's mostly just a pattern we didn't know existed in killer whales. This method is really, really great for seeing aspects of behavior we couldn't see from a boat, you know, looking from above. But obviously, we're still above the water, so we can't see all the way down into the water column. You know, we're not in crystal clear Hawaii. So uh, we don't know what we don't know. What I what I hope is that this kind of provides evidence and kind of a framework to, you know, start applying this kind of method to a lot of different populations of a lot of different animals. I, I have to admit, on, on quiet days, I still do sometimes just pull up some of the videos and just, just watch for fun.